friends! Today we're in my yoga room and I wanted to read a book called My Daddy is a Pretzel, Yoga for Parents and Kids and it's by Baron Baptiste with illustrations by Sophie Faddis. And as we're reading, you're going to be able to stretch and move with me. So be sure that you have some space to do this safely. Remember that part of yoga means that you're breathing as you're moving. So try not to hold your breath and never do anything that hurts. If it hurts, you tell your body, I'm not ready for that. That doesn't feel good. So only do what feels good for your body today. So we'll start with the book. Today in class, we're going to say what jobs our parents do each day. Look at that, they're having circle time. We're gathering at the carpet, just like we do. Nikki says her mom's a gardener. Sometimes my daddy's a tree. Hmm. How can a person be a tree? Oh. So here's our first pose. It's called tree pose. So for this one, we're going to stand up and we're going to need to balance. So you want to get your feet ready and then you're going to lift up one foot and hold your arms out for balance. See if you can balance. And then whatever we do to one side, we want to try to the other. So bring up that other foot. See if you can balance. You might be hopping. You might be falling over, but that means you're trying. So see if you can balance on one foot. See if you can balance on the other. See which one is easier for you. And if you fall, that's okay. Lionel says his parents are vets. Sometimes my daddy's a dog. We've done downward dog before. Do you remember how to do downward dog? If you don't, you can always start on hands and knees. And when you're ready, you're gonna curl your toes, lift your bottom up and back. And you can howl to keep this fun. You can try lifting one leg into your three-legged dog. You can try lifting your other leg, three-legged dog. You can even try taking your dog for a little walk and pedal your feet, feel your hips stretching out, your arms stretching, and breathe. And when you're ready to come down, come on down. And there's our down dog. Chang says his mommy's an architect. Sometimes my daddy's a triangle. So this is a triangle. It's a little tool that architects might use to help them measure, make angles. And so we're gonna make our body into a triangle. So I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna move one foot to the side with my toes facing that way. And the other one's gonna be in the back a little bit further, toes facing a little bit forward. I'm gonna reach my arms out and stretch to one side. And with this other hand, I can say, hi, Mr. Sun, and look up at my hand and breathe. <sighs> and then I'm gonna come up and what we do to one side, we're gonna do to the other. Switch your feet. And let's breathe. <sighs> and looking up, hi, Mr. Sun, and breathe. <sighs> and when you're ready, you're done with your triangle as you can come on up. Did you see the way that your body made a triangle? There's a couple triangles in here. I see this one. I see this one. Even his mat is a triangle. Do you notice that? Yeah, we can move our bodies in different shapes. Anna says her, her stepdad's a pilot. Sometimes my daddy's an airplane. Now this one is pretty advanced. So for our older brothers and sisters, moms and dads watching, this is a great balancing pose. You can have your arms out to help or keep them at your sides for a better challenge. For our younger friends who might not be ready to balance on one foot comfortably yet, we can do airplane pose on the ground. So we're gonna lay on our tummy and you can bring your arms straight out and you can come up that way. I'm gonna bring my arms up a little bit because of space. So airplane can come up and you're flying and talk about where you're going to fly to. I think I'm going to fly to Hawaii and you come down and land. So that can be our adjusted airplane pose for our toddler friends. 
Malachi says his daddy's a builder. Sometimes my daddy's a bridge. Now there's lots of ways to do bridge. The safest way to do it is to lay on your back, bring your knees up, Keep your hands on the floor and just lift up into bridge by lifting your hips. If that feels good, you can always try holding your hips up, get a nice back stretch. And remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. For friends that are advanced, you can go into the full bridge pose, but I'm not going to show that today. So there's our bridge pose. Stretching your arms, stretching your legs, really pushing into the ground. Emmy says her daddy's a farmer. Sometimes my daddy's a plow. Now this is a fun one that a lot of children do naturally on their own. And it's the plow pose. So remember, only do this if it feels comfortable and you don't have any neck issues. So we're going to lay all the way flat on our back. The first thing we do is bring our legs up and you can just stay right there if that's where you're comfortable. If you want to try a little bit more, you can lift your bottom up, support your back and bring your legs all the way over behind your head to touch the ground. And this is our plow pose. It's a great stretch for the back of our neck, the back of our lower back, stretching the backs of our legs. And then you slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae to come down safely. Sita says her mommy's a marine biologist. Sometimes my daddy's a fish. And so fish pose, we're going to lay back again and just arch our head and back, stretching into that fish position. So we lay flat. All you have to do for this one, press into the ground a little bit. Use your elbows to help you. And you're just going to lift. This one's great for heart opening, throat opening, chest opening. Big deep breath. And come down when you're ready. And that's our fish pose. Pedro says his daddy works in Africa. Sometimes my daddy's a lion. Do you see the two lions hiding? Yeah. Oh, three. There's three lions. Look at that. And we know our lion pose because sometimes we do our butterfly lion breath together. So here's the lion pose. And you're just going to sit on your bottom. Spread your knees a little bit. Hands nice and straight and strong. You're going to breathe in. And breathe out with a big tongue, wide open eyes, and hot breath. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. And out. That helps us really stretch our face, stretch our tongue. And it feels good and it's fun. So for the last one, I say my mommy's a baker and sometimes my daddy's a pretzel. So we can make our bodies into a nice pretzel. Give a great twist to our inside. All right, here we go. So for our pretzel, we're going to put one foot in front of the other. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can really put it anywhere. I like to put it here for more of a stretch. And you're going to think of bringing your heart to your knee. So I'm going to wrap my arm around and touch my knee to my heart. And I'm going to twist and look over my shoulder and breathe in and out. And then I'm going to unwrap my pretzel and fix to the other side. And then wrap again, heart to knee, looking over the shoulder and twisting gently. Breathe in and out. And then I'm going to come back to the middle. And that was our book and our little practice for today. And it says yoga is power. And it shows us all the different poses that we tried out today. So I hope this was fun for you and your family. You're welcome to revisit this if you enjoyed it. And look forward to more yoga videos together soon. Bye, friends.